I can't believe it. Is it true the water in this city is drying up? Yes. But it seems like there's still so much of it. What are you going to do? Are you sure the results of your investigation are accurate? I'm positive. Central is concerned about this situation too, you know. I don't buy it. Our little far-flung town isn't enough to warrant their attention. Stellard is the only city with a water source in this region. If it dries up or disappears, it will affect all settlements in proximity, and they'll wither and perish. The Dusk Sea will swell, and slowly, eventually, consume everything. It's not just your problem anymore. Understand? The Dusk Sea will consume everything, huh? The water sources disappear. Dry husks replace lush plant life. All creatures die of thirst or starvation. Deep blue oceans shrink and vanish, and eventually the life that thrives there no longer has a home. But the sun keeps shining. No thought to drying up the small amount of water left on the planet. And slowly, quietly, everything fades away. In our dusk world. Feeling seasick? Oh, hi, Cortez. I'm okay. The waves are nice and calm, for now, anyway. The Dusk Sea is unpredictable, so don't get caught daydreaming. I know. Cortez. I don't like having to remind you to treat Shalas Dara with more respect. It's okay, Teo. We're pretty far from Lugion Village. That doesn't matter. As the only daughter of the Chief, you're a representative of the village. Even though you are comfortable with us, when you speak, you speak for the people of Lugion. Remember that. I'm just saying it's okay. Jeez. Anyway, our journey is nearly over. We'll finally be able to relax. Uh, not exactly. We've only just begun once we've gotten to Stellard. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, I know, but still. Tail, what kind of town is Stellard anyway? I've heard it's a bustling city, with plenty of commerce, where people gather to collect their plentiful water. So it's a pretty lively city. I remember my father used to tell me about the lights, and how they looked like shining jewels. I actually get to see them myself. I'm so happy. No, don't get too excited. Not yet. Father, everyone, I'll definitely finish this task for the village. I have to do this! Shelly, I know the desert has already claimed the closer villages, but Lugion is still safe. We just need to stay focused and find the reason why the water is drying up. Then we can make a plan. Of course! I'm confident Stellard will have a way to help us. Hey Cortez, Teo, I'm going to need your support though. Don't worry, miss. That's the whole reason we're here. My primary function is to support you. 
There's no need for you to worry about anything. All right, then. I'm counting on you, Teo. <sighs> Oh. oh. Dad, what's wrong? It's just my hip. You are getting older. Maybe you should try and be more careful. I wasn't thinking. If only I could do something about this. Oh. Oh. Jeez, what happened to being a pillar of support? You're falling apart right here. Are you sure you're okay? You should sit down for a minute. What is? We're supposed to be landing to restock on supplies soon. Of course, we wouldn't want to run out. Won't it be too hard to resupply without Teo's help? Not really. It'll just take a little longer since it's just me. I could help too. It's nice you want to chip in, but I don't know if you're strong enough. Is that a no? Shelly, there's plenty of things you help with that only you can do. I got this. Cortis! I hope we at least arrive in Stellar before it gets too dark. The sea is dangerous at night. And you really shouldn't spend too much time resupplying. Oh, I know! What? I could try making a medical compress with alchemy. Will that really work? Let's see, what's first? What should I synthesize? What materials should I use? Is this okay? Time to finish making this. I did it! It's done! First things first, synthesizing the medicine for the compress. Let's see. The materials are... And a bit of this. There! It's done! Well, it looks kind of dangerous at first, but it looks like it worked out all right. Don't call it dangerous! Hmm. Not bad. How do you feel, Teo? Hmm, well... Yes. It looks like I'm back to no Oh! Don't get up so fast. Oh, that hurt. Hmm. Looks like it didn't work very well. Maybe a change in ingredients will help. Yeah! Hmm. What else could I use? We should check around the room. Okay. This'll work. Wouldn't hurt to try. Okay, I'll synthesize it again. What should I synthesize? What materials should I use? Is this okay? Time to finish making this. I did it! It's done! It's done. I hope this goes well.
How's that? Oh, wow. This is great. The pain is just melting away. Dad, wait. Teo, if you get up too fast... You don't have to worry. It's like the pain in my hip was just an illusion. Really? I feel much better. And it's all thanks to you, miss. Well, that's a relief. You're a natural. You really should have more confidence in your alchemic abilities. Really? I've only learned by watching. You should do some proper studying. It could prove extremely beneficial to you. A strength. A strength? Huh. This reminds me. I took a shot at alchemy a while back, but I didn't really get it. This could be a matter of innate talent, like my dad mentioned. Natural talent. Anyway, my hip feels much better now. I think I'm going to take a walk. You might be feeling better now, but don't push it. You could hurt yourself even worse. I don't want to hear it. Oh. What's wrong? Looks like we're nearing the shore. Lucky to have found such a nice place to drop anchor. Really? Now we can go get supplies. That's a relief. I was starting to get a little nervous about the food situation. Well, we should go take a look around outside. Okay. If you're going outside, please dress appropriately, miss. Dress appropriately? It'd be too late once the accident had occurred, after all. Well, the monsters around here aren't too strong. But it wouldn't hurt to be a little geared up. Your personal items are on the table, Shalistara. All right, I'll go get them. should do it. Miss! Jeez, oh, I'll go get her, Dad. You should still be resting. I'm counting on you. Wow! The desert is so big! Shelly, don't run off on your own like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I said it was a fairly safe place, but you never know what might happen. I know. By the way... Hmm? We're pretty close to Stellard now, aren't we? Yeah, it shouldn't be too far off. Why do you ask? Well, isn't Stellard supposed to be the shining oasis in the Dusk Sea? We're so close. But it seems like the desert just keeps going on forever. Shelly, we should look around for anything useful for now. Nothing will get done if we just stand around. Yeah, I guess you're right. I've never seen this. I should record it. I've never seen this. I should record it. doesn't seem to be an abundance of materials around here. No kidding. We won't be able to resupply anything at this rate. What should we do? 
let's keep looking for a little while longer. This place is much different from the area around Ujian. Okay then, we'll look a little longer. We could also call this gathering information about the area around Stellard. Yeah. Calm down, Shally. You say that, but... It's okay, they're not that strong. Here they come. I'll do my best. What's wrong? Is it over? <laughs> Good work, Shelly. I... Not bad. Who are you? A hunter? My apologies if we stole your prey. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute. You're not Yuri, are you? It's been a long time, Cortez. What? Do you know her? Yeah, it's been ages, though. Ages? Huh. Was there someone in the village? No. She looked after me when I was living in Stellar. That's right. You left the village to train a long time ago. Your little sister is quite the cutie. Stop that. So, you are... Yurie Croats. I'm a treasure hunter. A treasure hunter? I study old legends and rumors, looking for clues that lead to hidden treasure. I'm gonna strike it rich any day now. Get rich, huh? Cortez, you haven't introduced me to your little sister. I'm Shalistera, and we're... She is the daughter of my clan's chief. A princess, in fact. We're not related. Oh. It's nice to meet you. Same here. Why are you here anyway? We're on our way to Stellard by ship. We were looking for supplies, but we haven't had much luck. Anything useful is already gone. Oh. Do you need food and water? You'd give some to us? If you take me to Stellard with you. That's all you want? But food is so valuable. It's fine. What? Did you get lost or something? What? No. So what happened to your ship? Was it swept away, or did you just forget where you anchored it? Is that a yes? I'll be fine. I guess you don't want any food or water. See ya. Wait! Don't go! Please! Oh! Cortez! So what did you decide? be okay with you coming with us? Yeah, it should be fine. Alrighty then, that settles it. Let's get going. Okay! So you're Yurie. Thank you for looking after my son. Don't worry about it. Please, make yourself at home. Dad, isn't that enough? If you don't mind me asking, I'd love to hear about your treasure hunting and the city. Interested? Yes. This is the first time I've left my village. I don't know anything about this area or its customs. Oh, don't stress out about that kind of thing, really. Are you sure? 
What about things like clothes? I'm not very stylish. Is that what you think? I like your style, honestly. Really? Yes. But I hadn't heard about your journey. Why did you come here? Well... And that's why we've come here on the ship. We thought we could find a way to save the village in Stellard. I see. Stellard is an oasis, right? I'm sure it's beyond beautiful. An oasis? Huh. I'll find a way to save the village. It's my responsibility, after all. Did you get enough to eat, Shally? Couldn't eat another bite. That's not what the food left on your plate says. You're gonna get hungry again before lunch. I said it was full. If anything, you're the one who isn't eating enough, Mom. Well, I'm on a diet. I'm sure you don't need to diet at your age. I'm not giving you up quite yet, Shally. So are you going to go visit Raoul again today? Yep. I'm sure the Cooperative Union will have some work. Don't just settle for some work. You should find something bigger. Sure, if it were only that easy. The world isn't just gonna hand me what I want. My daughter will be just fine. You've got a ton of personality. I know, I know. You say that all the time. All right, I'm off. Good luck. I wonder if the Union has something new today. Raul just gives me random chores. I want to do a big job and earn a ton of money for once. I've got a good feeling about today, so maybe it'll really happen. I know life isn't that easy. But maybe, just maybe, something good will happen today. Morning. Oh, hello. Who's that with the boss? Um, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, it's fine. But there's someone here. He's an official from Central sent here to check out some nearby ruins. Try to be nice, huh? From Central? Really? I'm Sol Grumman. 
Um, I'm Shallot Elminus. Investigating ruins? That means there could be amazing treasure there. Uh, I'm actually an alchemist, so if you need anything, just let me know. I see. Well, thank you. He doesn't seem interested at all. Maybe alchemists aren't as rare back in Central. But Mom was right. I still need to make an appeal. Um, um... I'm gonna ask you to do the usual work today, Shally. Can you do that for me? Really? You just want me to pick up more trash? Isn't there anything else? Like what? Isn't there a more involved job I can do? Like helping an official or something? In that case, I guess I can't count on you to do this job. I'll give the work and money to someone else. Oh, well, you know, that doesn't mean I won't do it. <laughs> You're such a tease. What is with her? Where were we? All oh, right, the issues with the water purifying equipment. That would be the best place to start. We'll need to have a thorough investigation. An investigation? Trash clean up again. Ugh. Is something wrong, Chow? Mirka! You look worried. Not particularly. What about you? You don't come around here that often. I'm taking a mental health day from work. Whoa, is that gonna be okay? You're always so busy. I get bored with the same request over and over. Today, tomorrow, yesterday. Every day the same. Imbuing is so boring. I'm fed up with mind-numbing work. You know, you're actually pretty lucky. Running the Atelier isn't enough to get by. Which is why I'm out here doing odd jobs like this one. Imbuing is still a new thing around here. I'm sure they'll get over it sooner or later. And that's when traditional alchemists like you will step in again. You should stop taking odd jobs and practice alchemy instead. It would help to have a customer base. Unlike yourself, I don't have the luxury to get by like that at the moment. Shall. I'm sorry. Oh, don't give me that look. It's super awesome you got to study in Central. We should plan something amazing to do one of these days. How does that sound? Sure. Alrighty, back to work. See you! That was silly of me. There's no use getting mad at her. Gosh, is that an ore pumpkin? Oh, nope. Just a bit of scrap metal. The junk around here isn't that bad at all. Okay, time to get to work picking it all up. Picking up the trash for almost no cash. I'll clean this up. I'll clean this up. Cleaning, cleaning.
I'm finished, Raoul. Good job, Shally. Here's your compensation. Whoa, it's even less than I thought. Is that a complaint? Not exactly. But don't you think the work I did was worth more than this? If you want a better paycheck, you have to do better work. I'm not sure there's much skill to trash collecting. No way. There's plenty of ways to improve efficiency for tasks, even cleaning. You start small, but you can work your way up. I know. I'm aiming to do something amazing in my future and get super famous. Really? So you have a plan? Well, I... No, not yet. But don't come crying to me for favors when I've struck it rich! What a free spirit she is. That free spirit is just about her only redeeming quality. We should get back to work. So, how about you tell me exactly what's causing problems here? Alright. Phew. That's it for today. I thought I heard Raoul talking about something. He'd probably tell me I wouldn't understand. Well, I guess I should have expected, being a beginner alchemist living in the poor part of town. Mom, Mirka, I don't see anything in my future. Do I even have one? What a cheapskate. No class at all. He wouldn't hesitate to use any way possible to save a buck. <sighs> Welcome home, Shally. Wow, you look exhausted from all that work. Hi, Mom. Gosh, I'm starving. Don't forget to wash your hands. Mom, seriously, you don't need to treat me like a little kid anymore. Yes, well, you will always be my little girl. Quit it! All right, all right. I'll get you something to eat. You can lie down for a bit. Okay. This song is beyond lame. Something amazing, huh? I ended up telling both Raoul and Mirka that one. Because of Mirka's experience at Central, she knows a lot about the latest imbuing techniques. All I have is my self-taught alchemy and personal motivation. What can I do to help myself? Ugh, what a drag. I don't care what I end up doing, as long as it isn't just trash duty. I want to travel and see the world. I want to do something in my own style that gets me recognized. Mom would be so proud. What could I do that would make me stand out in a crowd? This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Did you know that Nintendo World Report is funded directly by fans like you? When you support Nintendo World Report on Patreon, you get immediate access to multiple exclusive podcasts every month, exclusive Discord channels, an early look at select content, and more. All for as little as a dollar a month. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details.